Today we're going to talk about uh, compressed gas cylinder safety. Now we're going to talk about this today. We're going to talk about this again uh, in another week or so. We're going to lay emphasis on it because we use compressed gases for a variety of purposes. We use compressed gases in the cylinders that store them for welding, uh, for uh, heating up iron when we have to weld it in wintertime. Uh, we use it for oxy fuel cutting. So we need to understand how to handle it safely. Uh, the convenience of compressed gas doesn't come without somewhat of a price. We need to store and handle and use uh, these cylinders properly or the consequences can be very devastating. Now today we're going to look at some tips for compressed gas cylinder storage. Um, for example, to begin with, you want to store cylinders with their cylinder valves in the closed position. You want to make sure that the uh, cap, the valve caps are securely attached, screwed on properly. Uh, separate cylinders according to their contents. Uh, oxygen cylinders need to be at least 20 feet away from flammable gas cylinders uh, or combustible materials or by a non-combustible barrier at least five feet high with a fire resistant radium at least 30 minutes. Now our uh, oxyacetylene carts, the newer ones that we have purchased, have this wall in between the oxygen and the acetylene. Now, identify empty cylinders and store empty cylinders uh, separately from full cylinders. Then secure all cylinders while they're in storage and in use on a job site. Uh, they need to be uh, secured uh, so that if they're, for example, they're standing next to a column uh, or something like that, we need to make sure that they are properly tied off. Ventilate all cylinder storage as well. And then keep cylinder storage away from fire and potential electrical hazards. Then also we need to ensure that all cylinders are labeled to identify their contents. Uh, you don't trust the cylinder color code as identification. Uh, that's identification uh, as an identification method rather for cylinder content uh, medical gas cylinders are to be color coded but you have to check the label to be certain then return any cylinder to the supplier if the label doesn't identify the contents and then store acetylene cylinders upright and, and avoid dropping or striking cylinders for any reason so uh, that's as far as we're going to go today uh, in the next session we'll look at transporting and working with these cylinders.